boys. Hi. How you guys doing? What are you doing? I'm going into the yard. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> guys, Danielle Summerfield here at Summerfield Farm and Draft Horses. And that and that <laughs> are draft horses. That one's a poor example of one, but he is what he is. That's Mr. Darcy if you're new to my channel. And he is a, let's see, his daddy was a Percheron and his mom was a standard bred Percheron cross. And he is 20 three going on 24 years old and he has Cushing's disease and he has arthritis yes you do yeah and he's got a lot going on he's got bad problems with his feet he's got ring bone in his feet so he um we take really good care of him even though he doesn't look like he's being taken care of right now but um, it's because it's springtime and he's got to gain some weight he didn't gain a lot over the winter time he actually lost too much so that over there is Jarvis and <laughs> I don't know which one's my heart horse 
that one or that one because he's my first percheron and i absolutely love the breed but he and i we just kind of click sometimes but so don't he and i i don't know is it possible to have two heart horses i don't know maybe <laughs> so he says no <laughs> so um anyway that is uh, jarvis and he is full blood percheron and i bought him seven years ago so he's been he's my rescue from a slaughter auction seven years ago and he is let's see they said he was seven on the paperwork they called him at 15 in the ring and because of his teeth um we're looking at maybe 18 so i'm gonna say he was 18 when i got him so that would make him in his 20s just just like him so i'm gonna say they're about the same age um He's blind in one eye. Uh, he had uveitis after he got back because when he was at the auction, he caught parvo. And yes, horses do get parvo, um, but it's not like dog parvo. So it's really hard to um, decipher because it looks like strangles and it looks like other things that a horse gets. Um, so he wasn't vaccinated for parvo until all the other gunk went away and come to find out it was the parvo that was doing it. So he ended up getting uveitis from the parvo, and now he's blind in one eye. So, ah, love it. But he's still my boy, my, my baby boy, and I absolutely love him. So what are we going to do today? Um, I like to do a bunch of different things on, um, on this channel. Uh, I do balance riding. I, do, um, I teach you guys certain little things about, you know, everyday life on the farm. Farm. We have chickens and horses. We had cows. <laughs> we ate them. <laughs> I know you didn't want to hear that, but um, so let me let me talk to you about him because this is he's going to be the um, topic of our conversation. Um, I want to show you what Cushing's does to a horse. Now, there's varying degrees of it. Cushing's disease is a inflammation of the pituitary gland in the back of your skull. It is um, non-curable. It just swells up and swells up and swells up. And basically what happens is um, that the pituitary gland makes these enzymes that tell the body to do certain things and it forgets to tell it to stop. So what happens is if you don't control it, the horse either gets really, really, really fat and dies or he gets really, really, really skinny and dies or he's maintaining his weight. He gets really barreled like bleh, like that and he founders and then you have to put him down because it's very very painful foundering is just like the worst thing a horse can go through it's like you breaking your foot and having that pain all the time because you can't walk it's just awful so most of the times when a horse founders and it's really bad and they can't control it um they usually put them down but it is controllable so there is a medication called Prescend. um and what, ooh, <laughs> I hate bugs, <laughs> surprise. Um, that was a little caterpillar. Anyway, um, I don't know where it went. It was one of those little green caterpillars and I flicked him. So for all I know, he's on my clothes somewhere still. Oh well, so anyway, um, the, the pituitary gland does not allow for like hair to stop growing or he sweats or he's thirsty or they get barrel chested or they just gain a whole ton of weight and it's just it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do so percent actually creates a blocker and keeps because the pituitary gland is still going to continue to, to send out all these signals but the percent actually blocks it as a mimic of what the body is telling it to do so even though it's still getting all these like signals, um, it doesn't carry through the body and things kind of return back to normal. So as a lady, I would love to have something where it makes my hair grow all the time. That would be so cool, <laughs> but um, they don't. So let me turn this around and I'll show you Darcy. Okay, so Mr. Darcy, um, right now, he was off his medication for three months and this is what happened. He ended up losing a whole ton of weight over the winter time. 
And it wasn't just, I mean, horses, they lose weight over the winter. But he lost a lot of weight. And his hair grew super woolly. So, granted, he looks like he would have been warm over the winter time. It's not very thick. I mean, it's looks like crap right now because he's shedding. <laughs> See? He's shedding. What happens when the hair sheds is it turns um, dark brown or like light brown like this. It's usually dark, 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 dark like that. But as the follicle, the hair follicle dies, um, the hair just kind of turns like this old people gray. Kind of brown color. <laughs> so as you can see, he's got a lot of it. And it goes all the way down to his skin. I mean, he's got a ton of hair. And it is, it is shedding. But um, not really that fast. You know what I mean? Can you see how long that is? It's so long. So, back here, he's sweating incredibly. You can see this, all the, this is all the dirt from when he was sweating that came out from his skin and just kind of congealed on the outside. So, you can see that's all sweat. And sweat usually foams up when it gets wet because it's very salty. And that's why you have to have a salt block for a horse because they, they like, they have to have that extra salt. So, in order to make him comfortable, because he's just going to sweat and sweat and sweat and sweat, and it's not like it's like here on the outside, it is really deep down. So you can see here, look how sweaty he is all here. It's like having your hair on the hottest day of the summer, getting all sweaty under your neck and having no relief at all, because there's no no air that can get in here. So what happens is it stays sweaty, it stays yucky and nasty, and then because it can't dry, he ends up getting skin problems. Not him, he doesn't do this, but another horse could. So what do you do for a horse that's like this? Well, you clip them. <laughs> and that's what we're gonna do with this guy. So, see there's his pill, he hasn't eaten his pill yet. See, there it is. There's a little pink pill, that's for send. It looks like a, um, a, uh, a Pez for all my people who um, are about my age. Um, that's what a Pez looks like. <laughs> so I gotta make sure he eats it, which I think he will just now. You gonna eat your pill? It doesn't taste very good, so he's making quite a mess. We tried to give it to him, so you can see on his legs, he's all sweaty there. Tried to give it to him in an apple, now he won't eat apples. Tried to give it to him in a carrot, and now he won't eat carrots. So we've tried a bunch of different ways to give it to him. And, and it seems like this is the best way to do it, for the moment. What's going on over there, Itchy? So, another thing that you guys might notice, um, my wonderful subscribers that have been around for a while, our pasture looks like junk. So normally, about now, this is um, the end of April, we have to mow it. But um, we are allowing the other side to kind of grow up a little bit. So they're going to overeat this side a little bit. Oh, there he goes. Did he eat it? Yeah. Yay, he ate his pill. Good job, buddy. Good job. So, um, before I give him a bath, why am I letting him eat? Baths are stressful. And, um, and when you get stressed, you make acid. And most times when people get stressed out, they get like stomach aches or they get heartburn. And that's because there's nothing in your stomach to absorb all that acid that your body is making because it's stressed out. Now, thankfully, humans have, our esophagus only goes down so far. And then our stomach takes over and our stomach has this lining that goes pretty far up. So when we get like acid reflux and you feel it here in your chest, it's because this is kind of where your esophagus and that lining, there's a line 
um, where it stops in your esophagus, which is like soft tissue, starts. These guys, their stomachs are made differently. So I can't really kind of wish that God made them a little bit better, but <laughs> it is what it is. Um, their stomach lining, their protective lining from the acid only goes about halfway and then it stops. And then it's like his esophagus all the way down. All the way down into their stomach. So when they get stressed and they get worried, their, their body does the same thing as ours does and generates acid and I was just double checking to see if that little caterpillar wasn't on me. And then they get stressed out and then they colic because then you get ulcers and it's just really bad and they don't like it. So before you actually want to trailer or before you want to put your horse through a stressful situation, you want to give them a little bit of food. That way they have something in their stomach to help absorb all of that acid. So he doesn't like baths very much. Um, he might like it today because we're gonna get him comfortable, we're gonna brush him, we're gonna get a lot of that hair out, and tomorrow he's gonna get clipped. So, this is gonna be a two-part series. Um, tonight, I'm just gonna give him a bath, and then tomorrow, we're gonna clip him, and I'll show you how you do that. So, um, let's get him off the grass, let's get him turned back around and over here, and um, let's give him a bath. Oh, wait, um, I gotta tell you what I'm using. Okay, so I have this really cool thing. It's called um, Easy Green. And it's actually a shampoo, but I, I use my other shampoo in it. But this sprayer, it foams, and it's amazing. It really soaks your horse, and it's amazing. I really, really like it. So you don't have to have, like, when you go to put your shampoo down on it, you don't have all these clumps of, like, one spot that's super soapy and the other spot isn't. This stuff just, like, it attaches to the hose, and it goes... <laughs> and then I use a curry brush to make it all extra foamy, squeegee because he's going to need it. And of course, just a regular sprayer. So without further ado, let's go get wet.
Sorry. Right, you guys <laughs> I know you're ready to be done aren't you yeah you're ready to be done this is falling way down on your nose this doesn't fit you it's too big you need to make it smaller yeah I know he wants to he wants to go okay so I wanted to show you his coat how curly it is that's a Cushing's coat right there um, the coat the hair follicles for some reason get all curly so he actually looks kind of cool as a curly because there is a breed it's called a curly and they're all curly coated like that they're they're like a poodle they're really neat but um look how big and long this is i mean it's so long and thick that's gonna be so uncomfortable so i got him as good as i could i know i did you know he took cute little ears and uh he's still shedding quite a bit and he'll shed even more tomorrow because um, I'll brush him first. But I got him as clean as I possibly could for the moment. Now you can really see how skinny he is. Um, his tail head is there. And you can see his hip hips there. How it just kind of slopes down. His butt's supposed to be more rounded like that. Let's see. Yeah, like that. But you can see that it's not. It just kind of slopes right down there. So it's supposed to be like there. Jarvis is like, come on, I want to be done. <laughs> and then on his butt, you can see his little butt bones right here and right there. That's supposed to be all nice and rounded and filled out, and it's not. So, again, you can really see how much muscle definition he's lost. And that's Cushing's. That's what Cushing's will do. It just is awful to a horse. But, you ready to go out? We're gonna, um, I'm gonna try to dry him off as much as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna get a towel on you. And I know you want your friend back. <laughs> he wants to be done too. But he also wants to roll. And I don't want him to roll because then he'll get dirty. So I'm gonna spray him down with, um, some stuff that when his fur dries, it's gonna, um, like show shine type stuff. And, um, he wants to get loose. He's trying to undo the buckle. You trying to undo your buckle? I don't think it'll work. Nice try. I got you double buckled. Because I know. <laughs> he has done it once. So that's why I got two on there. <laughs> oh, so okay. Let's go get some show shine. I think I have some. Let's go into the, the garage. Pretty sure I have some. Pretty sure. Say hi to the dogs. Hi, Doggos! Hi, Doggo! There's Doggo number one. Where's Doggo number two? There she is! There's Doggo number two. <laughs> Alright, let's see what I got in here. Pretty sure I have some. Yep, I do. This stuff works really good. Mane and Tail Detangler, and I have some of this Mane and Tail Shine On stuff. And uh, this is pretty much what I was looking for. Um, 
if I had left, not left the conditioner on, this would have done really good, but um, I'm going to put this on too. <laughs> I need to do like limbo. Sorry, you guys, for all the shakiness. All right. Hi. I know you guys didn't hear that, but I think he thinks I have a treat. I forgot to pick up, bring out a treat. Hi, I know. I'm almost done. We're almost finished here. I promise. Look at all that food. But he took a spill. All right, you. All right. Um, this is more high hair polish. We're going to put this on the outside. But I have a lot of this, so I'm going to use this first. And then I'm just going to comb it in. Just like I did with the other stuff. You ready? You're going to be tomorrow. You, Yeah, you are. You get a bath. You're not going to get clipped. You don't need to. But All right, we're almost done. Okay, hold on. So, that's that for right now. He is washed and scrubbed and conditioned and sprayed and everything so if he rolls he's going to roll because that's what he does um i might actually put him in the backyard to roll that way he doesn't get rolled in that and get all mucky yeah let's let's do that come on i'll show you <laughs> this is gonna be fun oh i can hear turkeys it's turkey season right now and i don't have any turkeys i can hear them gobbling they're my neighbors all right, let's uh, grab this. I know. We're going to put it right there. We're going to undo these two. There's one. There's two. Oops, wait, you can't go anywhere yet. You're still tied. Okay, now you can come with me. Boop. All right. Well, you just... Or maybe we can bring him into the front yard. Come on. Woo. Sorry. Let's see if he'll roll in the front yard. I don't think he will. But he might. He just might eat. I know, Jarvis. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh, heavens to Betsy. I'm gonna let you roll. <laughs> I wanna go with you. I want you to roll. Oh, let's put him in the backyard. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know, Jarvis. He's a good looking boy. We'll put him in the back, let him roll. Shall we let him roll? And then I'll put him out with you? I know. Of course. Besides, he's uh, whoop, missed it. Missed the gate. Missed the gate. You gotta come around. Come on. No, not that way. This way. You missed it. Like, totally missed it. Come around. There you go. There. You see? Oh. Alright. I put him in here. Whew. Well, he missed the gate. For just a minute. Hopefully he'll go out and roll. And then we'll just take him and we'll put him back out with Jarvis. But I don't want him to roll in the mud. 
Oh, somebody's upset. Somebody's upset. Is he going to be at the front door? No. <laughs> I can hear him crying in the barn. I don't know where he's going. Not over here. Oh, no, he's at the back of the barn. Oh, here he comes. <laughs> Hi! Hello! Yep, he's mad. He's gonna come around here in a minute. There he is. He's like, my friend. I want to be with my friend. Buddy Sour. <laughs> Where's he gonna go? Can't hear him. Oh, there he's over here again. Oh. There he is. Crying for his friend. Now all Darcy needs to do is roll. And then he'll be back out with Jarvis. And Jarvis won't be so worried. Poor Jarvis. He's so worried. Hi. What are you going to do tomorrow when he's not away? He's not with you all day. Huh? <laughs> You're going to cry. Poor Jarvis. <laughs> Darcy's just eating the grass. Of course, it's getting dark, so the video is going to get grainy. I'm sorry, you guys. Guarantee you, if that gate was open, he'd be over here, right at the gate over here, with Darcy. So he's going to walk the whole length of the fence and turn around and come running back. Well, trotting. <laughs> Come on, Dee, you gotta roll. Hi, Jarvis. I know, he'll be back out in a minute. I don't want him to roll out there. Poor guy. Where did he go? You can't see him, can you? You poor guy. You can't see him at all. <laughs> you can't see him at all. Yeah, there's water. He's getting better. I know, you're looking for him. He's over there. I'll bring him back out in a minute. I promise. Yeah, I promise. Oh, that was like a really cool picture and I missed it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
the deer might be out there in the woods. <laughs> Back down he goes. Yeah, he's getting better. Because I'm over here keeping him company. What's up, buddy? What's up, handsome? Ah, what's up? You need some exercise, too. You need a little butt work. Your butt's a little weak looking so I don't think he's gonna roll and I'm losing the light so uh, he's still over there just eating you gonna roll all right let's let's go put him back out I gotta clean up anyway before husband gets home we're gonna go out to dinner tonight hi snow <laughs> today was laundry day clean the uh, It was time to clean the all the um, comforters. All right, so uh, let's go send him back out. We're gonna bring him back over here, <laughs> so you can actually watch Jarvis tear himself out of his frame. Let's see, where's my rock? Oh, it's over here. So um, yeah, that's today. That's kind of like what I do. Um, sometimes it takes about two hours from very beginning to end, and it's much better when I can do it during the day. So he's, he would be dry, but oh well. Alrighty, let's send him back out. Hopefully you guys will have enough light. And now Jarvis is happy that his friend is back. And you guys can't see anything. And of course he's gonna roll. Yeah, he's gonna roll. Let's hope he doesn't. So Jarvis is happy that his friend is back. There he is. I don't think he's gonna roll, but he might. Jarvis is just happy that he's back back. Jarvis is playing the giraffe. Oh, Darcy, don't roll now. Well, at least that's there's a little bit more grass there. 
Ugh. That's what horses do. You spend hours and hours and hours of grooming and washing and conditioning and first thing they do is go out and roll. That's what they do. Uh, all that work. But hopefully, with all that spray that I put on, it'll come off easy tomorrow. <laughs> Otherwise, he gets another bath. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I'm going to call it a night. I have got to clean this stuff up and um, yeah, get myself cleaned up a little bit and husband should be almost home and um, we'll see you tomorrow, bright and early in the morning. <laughs>